Welcome to Up to the Minute. I'm Todd Duplantis. Good to have you with us. We've got your HCC news and information for the next half hour. Got some special guests on the way, and we're going to take you to one of my favorite taco places in just a few moments because, hey, it's Tasty Tuesday. And, hey, we've got Dr. Tony Arreo Sutherland joining me from the HCC TV studios. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. Tacos are my favorite thing. Plus You're going to love tamales. <laughs> yeah, you're going to love this place. We'll talk to them in just a few moments. But uh, well, first, Tony, we've got a special day for HCC because we're about to have a press conference out at our Southeast College, and we're going to take you there live now for a live look. Um, we have some great guests on, but first we're going live at the Southeast College. You can see it right there. They're getting set up now. This is going to be a news conference talking about a unique partnership with between HCC and the Harris County Toll Road Authority. It's going to be, Tony, for the Career Academy. And they're saying it creates a road of opportunity through a new one-of-a-kind program. Yeah, I mean, they said that it's going to help a lot of, what was it, 300? I forget. Yeah. There was a, a lot of people that it's going to um, get employed. So that's that's a big thing. Yeah, 300 employment vacancies at Hectra, which is the Harris County Toll Road Authority. They have openings. We have students looking for jobs. And this partnership is a first of its kind initiative that's focused on providing career opportunities to those in need. So a lot of folks are going to get a job out of this, at least 300. And we're very excited about this new partnership. And you can see people are gathering there. Our chancellor, Dr. Cesar Maldonado, is there. I'm sure we've got a lot of trustees. And uh, I'm sure you'll get a visit from the Southeast College president, Dr. Francis Villagran Glover, will be there as well. They'll all be explaining um, this new partnership with some people from the Harris County Toll Road Authority. So look for more yeah. information on that later today. Yeah, it'll help our economy even more. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So we want to thank everyone for watching us live on YouTube this morning and also Facebook. You can join us just about every weekday when HCC is in session. By the way, we got a holiday Friday. We'll talk more about that later in yes, the show. Yes, we do. <laughs> but we're live at 10 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube. They can also catch us the rebroadcast on HCC TV at noon, 5, and 10 p.m. And they can always find us in social media, Tony. Yes, they can. Just look for Houston Community College District, not just HCC, Houston Community College District. And you can go to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, just about any social media. We are there and you yes. can follow us. That's exactly right. All right, Tony, stick around because uh, we're going to take you out to Coleman College of Health Sciences. It is April and it's known as Occupational Therapy Month. And we've got Renee Shepard, the program director of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program with HCC's Coleman College for Health Sciences. Good morning to you, Renee. Good morning, Todd. We're looking forward to hearing all about this program. I know it's a very successful program, and uh, there's some deadlines that people need to know when they want to register and get into the next cohort. So Tony will be talking to you about all that in just a few moments. Stick around. All right. Thanks. Okay. We're going to go out to tacos. You like tacos? It's Taco Tuesday. Well, it's also Tasty Tuesday here at uh, HCC TV and on Up to the Minute. We're going to go out to Tacos A Go Go. Sharon Haynes is the founder and owner, and also Maribel Gomez, the executive chef. Good morning to you both. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Good morning. I think I mentioned to you, Sharon, earlier in the show, Tacos A Go Go, one of my favorite places to go to on the weekend. I'm always at the location in the Heights, been to your main location, but you guys, I'm excited because you, you have a new location you're just uh, opening up as well. We do. It's uh, uh, in Greenway Plaza area on Richmond, and we're very happy to be over in this neighborhood. Well... I've been going to Tacos A Go Go for quite some time, and um, but you guys have a bit of a story. Was your first location uh, in the downtown area? Yes, yeah, so it was. The first location was on Main Street, uh, right across the street, essentially from HCC Central. Yeah, and we opened 16 years ago. Wow! And wow. you guys are also next door to, I uh, believe, the very famous Continental Club as well. Absolutely. Now, tell us, uh, do you have a, a partnership between you and Maribel? How long have you guys been together? 
Yeah, so we've been together since the beginning, uh, but in the beginning, I couldn't quite afford her to bring her on staff. And so she came, uh, made a bunch of recipes for me, trained my staff for about a week, and then went to back to her real job. And it took me a couple of years and a couple of locations to be able to bring her in. And now she's a partner and we're pretty much inseparable. Yes, we are. <laughs> And you, one one thing I like about Tacos A Go Go is I always go there for the breakfast, but we've also gone for dinner. You guys are a full service taqueria. You don't just do breakfast or breakfast and lunch. You've got full hours at your places, and so you could stop by there for any of the three meals during the day. Is that right? That's correct. We also well, we used to do late night uh, before COVID, but sure. we have cut those hours back, and we're slowly building back to a later night service as well. Um, which is coming. And tell us about the new location in Greenway, um, a bit about that. Uh, where are you located? Is it on Richmond, I believe? And maybe you can tell us um, your hours there and what people can expect there. Yeah, so we're open from seven to 10 daily. Um, we are on Richmond um, in the Greenway Plaza area. There's uh, tons of parking in the back in a garage that is free. And um, we have been here for a couple months now. And uh, this is kind of our Tacos 2.0. We are also serving fajitas a go-go out of this location. Cool. We have a full bar, we have cappuccinos. And so we're doing a few things differently here. And Maribel, I also understand you guys have some chefs tra in training uh, that have come to you from HCC. Yes, we have the Mallory Uber and uh, the chef, uh, Jeff. Cool, and you also. Yeah, we're excited to see, sorry for interrupting, the uh, students who come in quite a bit across the street from HCC. So it's really fun to see that program up and running. And you know, one thing that's exciting, you also have like a rotating taco special for the month. What is the taco for April? <laughs> April, we have the so, so great taco. We have a blackened, fish taco with a pico de gallo tropicano. So it depends on the fruit, you know, it depends on the season. Sometimes we have a great mango, so pineapple. And I mean, it's a really good taco. It goes, it goes with a papaya uh, banero sauce. I mean, it's very popular. And for this kind of season, it's, I mean, everybody's is getting it. And you're going to make something for us today, the beef, uh, is it birria? Yes, we're going to make the birria the most uh, popular tacos at this moment, you know, it's Virolandia all over the Texas, I guess, and everywhere. Yeah, you know, I hear about that a lot. Tell me what that is exactly. The birria is, uh, you know, the original birria was made before with God in Mexico, but uh, like on 16, a uh, guy that moved from Mexico to um, Tijuana, he started making the recipe with beef. It was because, you know, the jail get more, more out of the cow, the more, you know, because of the prices. So it came really good, the recipe. And then a couple of brothers, they moved to Los Angeles and um, like a 2000. So they start, you know, they brought those tacos to LA and uh, they opened restaurant 2015. So it's then from there, you know, everybody has beer all over. <laughs> and well, it's show us. Show us what you're going to be making today. Let's uh, let's get started. Maybe you can show us. We have us a that. right here. It's a beef. It's really tender. It comes from the copper chip. And then we have a consomme. It's like a soup. It's a soup that we make with uh, dry peppers, guajillo, different kind of peppers, like uh, ancho pepper, a little spicy of the chili de arbor, morita. So it's a really good uh, soup. It comes from the, when you cook the, the birria, you know, you cook it in the oven for like a four hours. So you get all this delicious soup. So is it like a guisada, similar to a guisada? No, like a stew, yes. Okay, okay. And so do you plate that on taco? Yes, so we're gonna make the tortilla, this is a block corn tortilla, so you dip it on the consomme, and then you put it on your grill. You can make it at home on a fry pan, just make sure to put a little oil on the fry pan, so it will not stick to the pan, and then just put the cheese. A little spicy, just a little. Oh yeah. It's like a quesa birria. <laughs> so can can you also get an egg on this if you want it breakfast style? Can you do something like that? Wait a second, an egg? Yes. Can you add? Can you do that for breakfast? Yeah, you can make it to quesadillas. Cool. Quesadillas. 
I mean, tortas, you can make whatever, anything from Tiberia. I mean, flautas, I mean, you know, Mexicans, we use everything for everything. <laughs> Is this specific taco um, just for the Greenway restaurant or do you have it at all your restaurants? All, all locations, all day okay. long. Same sketch, same hours, you can get it anywhere. Okay. Yes, on all the locations. So then when you get, uh, you know, the, the cheese gets melted, then you fold it. Sorry. Almost forgot the beef. Got to put the beef on there. There you go. Oh, that looks great. So we got two ounces of meat and not meat for the, for a big taco. Okay. And then you just fold it. That smells so good already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That is the way to go. And like I said, I think what I'm going to do next time is order one of those with some eggs. I'll get an egg on it. Yeah, I'm going to be all about that next time. I'm there. Yeah, last month that was a chicharron taco. So if a lot of the yeah. customers were asking with the egg, with chicharron oh, and salsa and the that's egg. That's incredible. Oh my God, so delicious. <laughs> yes. That so it's incredible. A couple minutes to get that nice and, and crispy. And that's it. And you know, wait a little more. I'm gonna serve it with a side of consomme. So is the consomme what really makes this dish unique? Yes, if, I mean, if you get it without consomme, you're gonna miss half of the, you okay. know, yes. Uh, part. That's, that's like, the key to it all right there. When you eat it, you gotta dip it on this uh, soup. Right. Yes, see? And there you go. One of their incredible tacos from Tacos A Go Go. We appreciate y'all being on the show. That looks great. That looks great. That's my next. I think I'm going to have to be out by there this weekend. So <laughs> definitely get out there this weekend. Uh, check out their new location on in Greenway. It's on Richmond. And you guys have a full bar at this location, right? Full bar. All right. Thank ladies. Thank you for being on the show. Continued success and uh, look forward to getting out and getting some tacos soon. Thank you so much. Thank right. you. Thank you. All right. My stomach Tony, are you is hungry? grumbling. I know. <laughs> My I stomach know. is grumbling. It wants those tacos. <laughs> we got to get back to where we're doing these in person again. You know, we get out. Absolutely. <laughs> get some food, bring back some food. To the oh, station. yes. Maybe absolutely. we'll even send some food to our friends at Coleman. They, I think they like tacos. There you go. They're there actually... We they're close to a tacos a go-go location they're not that far from the midtown location so there you go yeah all right tell and me we I'm have, over. yes and we have renee shepherd she's the program director of the occupational therapy assistant program at hcc coleman college for health sciences welcome to the show <laughs> hi tony thank you for having me <laughs> You want to go have some tacos? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now let's let's talk about what you do. Occupational therapy. Now, a lot of people know what physical therapy is, but what exactly is occupational yes. therapy? Yes. So, uh, occupational therapy. Uh, the simplest definition is basically helping people live their lives to the fullest. So. With our one of our running jokes with physical therapy is like a physical therapist will help you walk to the bathroom, but then what are you going to do when you get there? So, <laughs> okay, that's oh, pretty important. <laughs> yes, yes. So, we're the ones that help you do the daily things in life that are so important, just being able to dress yourself, being able to brush your teeth, and anything that's important, like go get those tacos from Taco A Go Go. How can you get in the car and go get those things? So that is what we are involved in doing. How do you know that you need occupational therapy in addition or rather than uh, physical therapy? Um, so occupational therapy is generally focused around if you need help with activities of your daily life. So getting dressed because physical therapy is not trained in those type of things, any type of activity, okay. getting up and okay. making your coffee, anything that helps you do the things that are pretty much necessary for you to function. We help people learn how to, um, if they have like brain injuries or something, maybe they need to learn how to pay bills again or manage a household, all of those daily life skills. That's what mm, kind of separates us apart. It's more focused, more goal oriented in, yes. in 
things that you're trying to do. Okay. Yes, exactly. Um, now, uh, April is uh, Occupational Therapy Month. I didn't know that until today. So what are you guys doing with about that? <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, we are definitely excited. Uh, this month is usually a combination of advocacy and giving back. So we want to let everybody know what we are, who we are, what we do. A lot of our members of our student organization had a chance to go to San Antonio and meet the, the high rollers and OT, as you would think, you know, all of the, the big wigs. So they got to shake hands and meet all of those individuals. We are uh, partnering with the Texas Occupational Therapy Association this year, and we are kind of giving back to our profession. So we know with COVID, the healthcare world has been kind of stressed and all of those things. So for the OT practitioners in the Houston area, we're sponsoring a kind of self-care night. So a day for them to just lay back, kind of socialize, get to know each other again since we've been so isolated. Well, that's wonderful. Now, HCC has a wonderful OTA program. Tell us a little bit about your program. What makes it different? Well, I can say we are the oldest OTA program in um, the state of Texas. So I am glad to say that. We, HCC, opened their program in the 70s. And um, we are kind of beginning to shift our focus a little bit in accordance with the strategic plan to have more community involvement. So uh, another one of our giving back this year for OT month is we are basically sponsoring a homeless shelter. So we are going out and we're doing toiletry drives. We're gonna do some education. And that's how we are kind of different than some of the other programs around. We are big in the community and being able to give back. So if someone wants to go into this, uh, what do they need to do? Um, what's the process? First thing would be to attend one of our information sessions. So I give a session every third Wednesday of the month. They just come join me to get to know and learn a little bit about what OT is. And then I teach them step by step what to do for the process to go out and do some observation of some other some other people in the uh, therapists in the area. And then we, of course, our application deadline is June the 3rd. So you, they submit their application, which is coming up really soon. So yeah. uh, anybody interested, get into one of those info sessions that's coming up and we can talk a little bit more one-on-one -on -one about what is OT, how do you fit into OT, what does it take to be an OT, and then you fill in that application and then we'll go from there. How long does it take? I mean, how, how long is the actual process? Uh, you know, is it a year? Is it less than that? How long does it take to become an occupational therapist? Our uh, occupational therapy assistant that we have at HCC is a 22 month program. So, and it is, it is pretty intense, but it is all the way through the summers. Um, and then the last well, the last two months, they're actually out in the field doing their field work and working with patients and therapists in their in their internship. Lots so I, 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 I have a sister in law that's actually an uh, occupational therapist, so I know a little bit about it. But <laughs> um, tell me, what are the different places? There are a lot of places that uh, OT is is perform. You got patients all over the place. Tell me different places yes. that you can work. Yes. Uh, we are so diverse. You can do, and we're holistic. So you can work with children at the children's hospitals. We go into daycares, into schools. If you like geriatrics, which are the, the older individuals, skilled nursing facilities, assisted living facilities. We even have people working at uh, hippotherapy facilities. There's hand clinics, you know, if whatever you can think of, I guarantee you occupational therapy is probably involved. In businesses, we even do ergonomics for those type of things. So it's, if you get bored in one area, there's always something else that you can do within OT. <laughs> There's a lot of imagination, I think, that's used in that. Um, I know that my sister-in-law, uh, 
asked a, a brother, you know, if, if he could come up with something to help. She was working with children at the time mm -hmm. to help them maneuver things. So you can be very creative in this also, right? Yes, definitely. You do, especially if you're into crafts, you do arts and crafts. We play games. We go out to job sites. Uh, we even build a lot of equipment because sometimes our clients can't afford to go and buy a piece of equipment. Then we create something. We we make things all the time. That is fun. So if you like that uh, cooking, cooking is a big thing with OT. We get to be creative in that aspect. I love it. I love it. So um, now when do they register now? What's uh, what's the first thing they have to do to uh, join the program? So first thing, attend an info session. The info sessions are held the third Wednesday of every month. If you go to the HCC website under occupational therapy, you can sign up and register to attend. Um, after that, we just start the application process, which includes just a written application, sending your transcripts from any, any classes you've been to, and a paper about what is occupational therapy to you. Sounds good. You know, I'm I'm ready. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not my field, but I know that a lot of people would be very good at that. And like I say, uh, you can be creative. Uh, you don't have to be bored in one place. As you were saying, you can move around. So it's, it's a wonderful field to go into. Well, Renee, thank you so much for being with us. Renee Shepard, she's the program director of the Occupation Occupational Therapy Assistant Program at HCC Coleman College for Health Sciences. Thank you so much. And we're going to have information about your program in our post after the show. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks, Renee and Tony. Okay, some announcements to keep in mind. Very important thing we're going to talk about now. Free haircuts are back. That's right. Get your haircut on an HCC campus. Free haircuts are being offered to staff and students only on Wednesdays, starting, well, it's already underway. It started last month. Uh, it's at the HCC Central Campus. Walk-ins are welcome, except at lunchtime. They go to lunch between noon and one. Just show up at the J.B. Whiteley Building, take your ID card, get a free haircut. I know our director, Nathan's been there a couple times. He, uh, he always gives them kudos, so make sure you stop on by. <laughs> Help them out. They, they need some help with uh, training for haircuts. And if you need a haircut, it works out well both ways. We'll have some information in our social media post after the show. There is a, um, <clears throat> having problems talking. There is a round table, Women's Wednesday. And the next one is women, or actually the series is called Women Who Lead, Tony. Yes, it's an eight-week program led by women who will share their expertise and personal experience uh, in leadership. And uh, there's the sessions are interactive, so that's very good. You can uh, get some personal attention with that. And the uh, next ones, well, what, like we said, is Wednesdays from 1230 to 2. And the next one is actually tomorrow, April 13th, is called Boundaries Realign. That should be pretty interesting. That's uh, by Tamla Austin. And then the next one after that is April 20th called Capacity. Now, I want to know what that's all about. And that's by Karen Sharp. So we'll have information about that in our post after the show. That's right. Okay. HCC Career Fairs. Uh, HCC's Career and Job Placement Services has more career fairs coming up. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wednesday, April of 13th. That's the next one. It's at the Northeast College Spring. It's the Spring 2022 Processing Technology Hiring Fair. Try saying that fast. That's really difficult. <laughs> it's at the Northeast Codwell Lobby. So if you're into uh, process technology, if you're taking that, now's the time to get hired, get a job. Uh, go to Career Hub uh, on HCC's website to get more information and make sure you register for the event. Okay, there are some spring college events college-wide that are happening, Tony. Mark your calendars. Yes, State of the College 2022. Chancellor Maldonado's address will include a major announcement to the region's government, civic, business leaders, and media about the college's expanding resilience initiative. The announcement has broad implications for Houston and the upper Texas Gulf Coast. So don't miss it. It's, it's Tuesday, April 26th. It's going to be at the Hilton Americas. 
Right. Okay. Uh, spring holiday this Friday. No up to the minute. That's right. We have a spring holiday coming up on Friday. And as a reminder, HCC will be closed. Up to the minute will not air. Friday, April the 15th. So keep that in mind. And uh, the fall schedule, Tony, is now open. You can take a look at it. It's open for everyone to view. So I can't believe we're already talking fall 2022. This year is <laughs> zooming by. I mean, we are it's zooming through it. Zoom. Yep. We're Where already did it go? <laughs> yeah. And um, also, you you register for that. Everyone can look at the fall schedule right now. It's it's open to look at and figure out what you want to do. Then April, April, Maple, Maple. Monday. Maple. I love that. <laughs> combining Maple. two words. That's pretty good. We're in Monday. Maple. <laughs> Monday, April 18th is priority registration for vets and the Eagle Promise Program. And then Monday, not Maple, Monday, April 25th, everyone gets to register. So look at what you want to get so that when April 25th comes along, you can register. I think we can start a new semi-month. We'll call it the in-between <laughs> month. It starts yeah. on April the 15th and runs through Maypril the 15th. And there we'll you go. I mean, you know, April. That, I started something new. It's pretty important. Yeah. Okay. All right. Put that on your calendar. <laughs> See if you can get Google to find that for you. Okay. Right. Uh, there are still five ways you can learn in HCC. One of them is online anytime, online in a schedule. We have some hybrid options and in-person classes on a real campus. You can go take a class in person. Make sure you register early though. Get the class you want, the class you need at the time all those parameters, get them filled at hccs.edu slash apply. Okay, tomorrow on the show, we're wrapping up today. Tomorrow is Small Business Wednesday, and we'll feature Legacy Rags, a textile recycling company that buys clothes from charities and ships in bulk to countries in Africa and South America. Great deeds they're doing. And later this week, Tony? We have HCC community learning programs that teach Microsoft coding and gaming to ages eight and up to little kids so that's pretty bad but you know what they're pretty quick in learning that stuff yeah. they're they're faster in learning it than i am i know that <laughs> yes so check all of that out this week we're going to be back tomorrow live at 10 a.m right here for up to the minute <laughs>